Hello everyone, this is the 16th day of the fast of Daniel. We're coming down the home stretch. This is the Holy Week, a special time for all of us, this very unique time during the year where we're thinking about the week before Jesus went to the cross and then when he rose again. So, um, Let's be focusing on him every single day. And we're going to be making a special service this Thursday. So come and join us. It's going to be a big, big blessing for us. So we're reading through Luke. And today the reading is Luke 19. And I've chosen, I want to read for you verses 3 through 9 and talk a little bit about that. There are other things in the chapter. There's a lot of a lot of things that we could have talked about. But I want to talk about this person, this tax collector, which today means he was a thief. He was stealing from people. He was charging them extra taxes and keeping it for himself. And he was working for the Romans, the enemies of the Jews. So he was a man who was hated by many people. And he, he was, con by, by people who were following God, he was considered a complete unbeliever, a bad person. So it says, so Jesus is going through Jericho and Zacchaeus was there, says, verse 3, he tried to get a good look at Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd. So there are crowds of people standing by the road wanting to look at Jesus or hear his voice or be healed. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree beside the road, for Jesus was going to pass that way. So he ran down the road and climbed a tree. So this was a, a man. You know, he wasn't a child. He was a man. And he, he was a rich man. He had stolen a lot of money. So he climbed a tree to look at Jesus. He knew Jesus was going to pass by that tree. He wanted to see him. When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called him by name. So how did Jesus know his name? Why did Jesus stop and look at him? He was a thief. He, was a, he, he had stolen from many, many people. He was the enemy of the Jews. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down. I must be a guest in your home today. So Jesus invited himself to Zacchaeus' house to eat. He didn't just want to talk to him. He wanted to go to his house and eat and spend time with him. Zacchaeus quickly climbed down. Not slowly, quickly. He quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. So he's really happy. He wanted to spend time with Jesus. But the people were displeased. He has gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner, they grumbled. So most of the people were angry. They didn't understand why is Jesus going to this bad man's house? So then it says, meanwhile, like while they were eating, they had the meal. Zacchaeus stood before the Lord and said, I will give half of my wealth to the poor. So he was a rich man. He said, I'm going to give half of all my money to the poor, Lord. And if I've cheated people on their taxes, I will give them back four times as much. So for the people that he cheated, he said, I'm going to pay them back. Not, I'm not going to give them back what I took. I'm going to give them four times more. Jesus responded, salvation has come to this home today. For this man has shown himself to be a true son of Abraham. So Jesus said, today this man is saved. He's a child of God. 
So interesting, interesting story. You have a, a really bad man and then you have Jesus. And so my question is, how did Jesus know Zacchaeus' name? Why did Jesus go out of all the people that were there, hundreds, thousands of people, he went, he noticed Zacchaeus, he went over there and he knew his name and he invited him to his house. Because either somebody had told him about Zacchaeus or the Holy Spirit revealed it to him, but Zacchaeus had already begun to change in his heart. He'd already begun to, to want Jesus. And you see that quickly, he didn't complain. He didn't say, who said you could come to my house? Now I'm busy. No, he was, he was eager to see Jesus. And then when Jesus went over and talked to him, he was really happy. And then when he invited himself to his house, he went there and, and Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus' God was money. And there at, at the house, he decided to give half of everything he had to the poor and pay back all those people that he had stolen money from. So his actions showed that money was not his God anymore. He was making Jesus his God. And that's why Jesus said, salvation has come to this house. When we change our life, when we give our life to Jesus, we give up those gods. Sometimes it's video games. Sometimes it's alcohol. Sometimes it's anger. It's uh, always being negative, depression. But whatever it is, whatever has been the thing that controlled our life, our God, whether it was good or bad, we give that up. If we love money, if we money is the most important thing in our life, we give that up and we put God first. What do you think? Do you think he received the Holy Spirit? Because this was not, in this same chapter, we have the, the Palm Sunday story. So this was close to the time that Jesus died. Do you think that he stayed faithful and was with the believers? Do you think that he received the Holy Spirit? I believe. I'm sure he did. Maybe he was a part of the 120 or maybe later on Pentecost or maybe later he received the Holy Spirit. But if he continued with this attitude, of course he would receive the Holy Spirit because he was giving up his life, giving up his ego, giving up his greed, his selfishness, his love of the world, his love of money. And he was, he was declaring it publicly, not to boast, but to put himself on the spot, to make it clear to Jesus what he was gonna do. So this week, let's act like him, let's, Let's be eager to spend time with Jesus. He climbed a tree just to see Jesus. He was happy that Jesus came home to his house to eat. He changed his life for Jesus. Let's do that this week, this last week. And let's, let's be determined that God is going to transform our lives. Amen. Let's pray. My Lord, we're in this last week of this fast of Daniel. We want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We want to surrender our lives to you, Lord Jesus, completely, completely. We don't want to hold anything back. We're tired of being empty. We're tired of, of the same old problems, the same old life. We want to be filled with your presence. And we believe, we believe that between now and Sunday, a miracle is going to happen in our life. Lord, help us 
to be like Zacchaeus. Give us the same spirit, the same love for you, the same desire to do whatever it takes to, to see you, to get close to you. Like Zacchaeus, help us to give up our gods, the things that we love, and to make you our God. In Jesus' name, come Holy Spirit. Come upon everyone watching this video. Come upon these people here in Portland, each house, each home, wherever people are. Lord Jesus, come and fill them with your holy presence. Protect them. Put your angels around them. As we read Luke, so wash our minds, wash our hearts, clean us, purify us so that we'll be ready for your spirit to come and live inside of us. Lord, there, there are people here in the church who are, who are seeking you. They want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Lord, show them if there's something blocking them, if something is holding them back, show them. Speak to them. Reveal it to them. Cause them to, to see what it is. And then to have the courage to give it up, to fix it, to get rid of it. And to be completely filled and possessed with your spirit. My Lord, there's nothing else that is. It's the most important thing in our life right now. We want you to live inside of us. So come, transform us, my Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, I believe. So let's keep going. Read through this passage today if you haven't already. Luke chapter 19. There's so much there. Maybe you want to read it twice today, three times. Meditate on it and Let's start to live out these things. You know, when we read the story of Zacchaeus, we have to put ourselves in his shoes and say, okay, what did Zacchaeus do? Okay, I'm going to do what Zacchaeus did. That's how we need to read the Bible. We, we shouldn't just read it as a book with stories. We, whatever we read, we should ask, how can I make, how can I do the same? How can I make this come true in my life? So today, we are all Zacchaeus. Let's act like him, all right? Um, Bishop Joshua is going to make his program every, every night this week at, um, at 7 o'clock in the evening on LFM. So you can watch it on your phone or on TV on, uh, and let's learn more. Let's get close to God. All right, so I'll see you guys on Thursday. It's going to be a great service. God is really going to work powerfully this Thursday. See you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.